I mean, it's kind of, it's going to be biased, you know, for the simple fact that, you know what I'm saying, I already have the shoe. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, shoes, sneakers are sneakers. And, uh, you know, it's, it's some kid out there that didn't, you know, so they, they, didn't, they weren't able to have the shoe when it first came out that they're able to get it now. So, you know what I'm saying, I think it's good from that point of view. But, you know, so I think like true sneakerheads kind of get agitated with it because they, it's, it's, it's all about the rarity of the shoe. You know what I'm saying, once they come out with the shoe, it just makes it less rare. My recent sneaker purchases were actually, uh, I came up on the, um, the Animal Pack, which you seen the other day I had on the, um, the Air Max One Animal Pack joints. So them joints was crazy. I actually was rolling around town with you in the snow and they, <laughs> and they survived everything. So them joints is crazy right there. I was, that was a good pickup. Did you, um, did you get the fighter jet phone posits? Nah, I didn't get the, I, I didn't get the phone posits. I kind of. You know, one thing about my style and, and on my taste, I should say, in shoes is I don't really get shoes that that you know what I'm saying that's that's hype. You know what I'm saying all the time. Like I, for, in order for me to get a shoe, I have to really like the shoe, and like I just kind of fell back from phone posits totally. But you know, so I don't, I ain't knocking them at all. You know what I'm saying to each his own. But it's just you know what I'm saying. I kind of fell back from the phone posits thing. I think it's another hype move because I think. You starting to notice right now in the game how how crazy the sneaker game like the sneaker game wasn't like this three years three four years ago and it just came out of nowhere where you know what I'm saying you got a lot of hype beats and people just you know what I'm saying gravitating towards the movement so <clears throat> it's it's all about like when, even with anything in life about fashion and sneakers it's all about who's doing who's doing what first and who had what first so. In the sneaker game, if you had Nike Air on the back of your or on the back of your Jordan, it means like you were really official, like you were a real sneakerhead because it was the actual first joint that came out. So by Nike or Jordan brand putting that back out, it's you know what I'm saying, it makes it seem like like you can just say like it was the first joint that came out. So I don't really I don't really like it too much, but hey, you know what I'm saying? Is there any shoe right now that you're looking forward to? I know you said you moved on from the LeBron and the Jordans. But well, I ain't move. I haven't moved on. Just, um, you know, I just kind of slowed down a little bit. Actually, um, I can't remember what game LeBron played in, but it was the PEs he had on. They were red. Uh, they were red and something, but I couldn't tell what game. I, I can't remember what game it was, but I'm, I'm looking for. I'm looking for them joints right there. I gotta have them. Uh, I, it's, besides me really liking the shoe. You know what I'm saying? It just goes back to what I was saying earlier about the rarity of the shoe. You know what I'm saying? It's like in this in this game, you you want to be the first and you want to be the only to have something. So you know, for me to be able to have that on my hands, you know what I'm saying? And there's not a lot of people out there that have that have that shoe or these these particular shoes. You know what I'm saying? It makes you much more distinguished. You know what I'm saying? In this game. Now, in order to have those kind of shoes, it comes with a price. Yeah. If you don't mind sharing, what's the craziest price you had to pay for a, a sneaker? Man, I I I I I I paid some good prices for some sneakers. <laughs> I don't want to own the good prices out there, but um, you know, I just to just to get a, just the real sneakerheads a glimpse because they'll know once I say this. I actually I actually um I traded um I traded for mags. And what I traded was a Hardwood Classic 8 and LeBron 8, of course, and then I traded a, a Jordan 3 sample. But, I mean, of course, they, I don't even, you know, I got them because I like them, but they weren't even in my size. So, with them sitting in my closet for like a month, I'm like, I'm not going to ever wear these. So, <clears throat> and I'm probably not going to wear the mags either, but I'm like, you know what, I just wanted the mags. So, I, I was able to uh, get in contact with one of my connects and I just traded both of those for the mags. So, you know what I'm saying? Real sneakerheads can can figure out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> the math on that. Yeah. Are right, you still saw it downhill from there? Why do you think that is? Because the designers are whack. They obviously switched designers. Because you're not gonna tell me that the same designer who created those masterpieces started creating them whack ass shit that they got in foot action and house of hoops now. I've been a hip hop artist since 95. You, you you buy a lot of shit, you get a lot of free shit, yeah. you get connected to a lot, you can't fit all of that shit. And then you have a bunch of people who you're around who don't have the means to get those. Yeah. So there's certain people you just gotta be like, yo, here, take these shits. Like me and Kiss actually had that.